day four of leg two of the Quattro expedition and today we are completely off the beaten path. Today we are driving up to Darjeeling and then to Gangtok. We are actually quite late because yesterday Gaurav, our director of photography, he fell ill so he had to be sent back to Pune and we had to wait for Rohit to come from Pune and uh, Bagdogra being the only airport in this region, they don't have too many flights there. So it took him a rather long time to get up. But anyway, we picked up Rohit now and now we are heading up to Darjeeling in the afternoon on this new Rohini toll road. I came up here eight, nine years ago and this road wasn't there. The road was actually much, much narrower, much steeper. This road for a toll road is actually very narrow. It's barely two car widths wide. Some places not even two car width. But it is smooth and it's a very pretty part of the country. Paul Haltemeyer, when he took the road up to Darjeeling, it obviously wasn't this road, but he talked about the fever infested forests of Siliguri. These are the same fever infested forests. They're not fever infested anymore. They're just lush, green, completely unspoiled, fresh air. It's lovely this drive. The reason why Paul Haltemeyer went up to Darjeeling was to meet the mountaineering expedition. This was one of the initial expeditions to the Everest and they would go via Sikkim. The Indians would take the quicker road via Kalimpong, but because of the jungles of Kalimpong and obviously all the diseases and the mosquitoes and God knows what, the Europeans refused to take that route for fear of getting something contagious. So they would take this much longer route. He also met the German expedition that was heading to Nanga Parbat, which was on the other end of the Himalayas. But again, this was the route that they would take. And all these mountaineering expeditions were based either in Darjeeling or in Gangtok.